All right, so now that we have Google Class Access, let's figure out what to do with it. So, to set up a student account, I'm going to show two things here. Thing one, we will set up student accounts. I'll create a couple student accounts. And then also, we will change a password for a student that might need a password change. So first things first, go to here, admin.google.com. Um, esusdclass.org slash dashboard, you'll hit enter. It'll ask you for a password. I thought I was just signed in, so it might not ask me. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Any minute now. Oh, it's going to ask who I want to sign in as. I'll sign in as that guy. I believe that password's wrong. All right, so once you are in the dashboard, uh, the way it's set up is only CBT. CBT is only letting us add users and delete users and do things with users. So here are all the kids in the district that are associated with this. So I'm going to create a couple of accounts for some new students. So right down here, a little plus, add user. I'll create one for Emma Lowry. Actually, I'll just create it. And I've been creating them first name dot last name. Emma dot Lowry at ESUSD. And here's the problem. It wants to set up at ESUSD, but we can't do that. So you need to change this to ESUSD class dot org. Um, I'm going to set a password and I'm going to just call it LVHS student. And Let's say the password's strong. If the password's weak, it won't let you make it, so beware. Um, and I usually try to make them all with the same. Additional info. I don't want any additional info. Um, and I'm just going to create that. It'll go. Oh, my passwords don't match. Great. LVHS. Student. Create. And action. And now we have a brand new student created. I can go to create another user and kind of roll through my class that way, but I'll just create Emma. So that's how you create a student. So she's going to go to google.com, uh, type in emma.lowry at esusdclass.org, and she's ready to go. Okay, part two here is let's say she's logged in. Uh, the very first thing it's going to have her do is change her password when she gets in. So she's going to change it to whatever she likes, and that's okay. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, but oftentimes the students forget what their password is. So what you can do if Emma forgets her password, you can go and click on her name in that same spot. And then right here is a little lock with a circle around it, which is the reset password. And you're going to type in, just make it LVHS student or LV student, whatever it is that will let you get away with. Let you get away with. Uh, that will be strong. She's going to require a change of password the next sign in and you're good to go. That's it. Just tell her her password is now LVHS student and have her start from there. They'll learn pretty quickly, hopefully.